Once again, the wildfires in Canada are creating smoky, hazy conditions across the northern plains, and we can see all of that smoke and haze aloft. That's going to be continuing at least overnight and even into your Tuesday as we still have that wind mostly coming from the north. And we can see that in the sky right now and have been seeing that for the past couple of days. So we're going to have another one of those hazy sunsets. And it's not just in Minot, but across the entire first warning viewing area. We're seeing a little bit of cloud cover, but mostly that smoke and haze. We're at 81 degrees in the magic city all around temperatures aren't all that bad we should be at least right in the mid to upper 70s so that is comfortable compared to what's to come as we go into the next few days we've got the wind out of the northwest that too is going to be increasing in the coming days but for now our weather is relatively calm across the northern plains but we've got severe weather well to them finally moving east of denver but severe thunderstorm watch is in effect for portions of colorado and new mexico severe weather also impacting the gulf coast states louisiana baton rouge into mobile uh, severe thunderstorm watch until eight o'clock tonight and then tornado watch in effect for portions of southern texas just to the east of san angelo so they're not done with that severe weather threat just yet at home we are doing fairly deep and not expecting any moisture for the next couple of days, but that smoke is going to be a thing. Now, what I showed you earlier was the smoke aloft. What about the forecast for the smoke at the surface? Well, relatively light, so nothing drastic to the point where we have to worry about any type of, let's say, um, air quality, but maybe that will change a little bit as we go into, let's say, your Tuesday afternoon and evening as some of that thicker smoke may potentially reach the surface. So just keep that in mind and get ready for some plumes of smoke for the time being. But overall, our evening's looking pretty great. We're still gonna be in the 70s for the next couple of hours. Afterwards, we should be falling into the 60s rather quickly, especially after midnight. Light wind is going to continue as well. Tomorrow morning, not too bad. We should be right in the 50s and low 60s for much of us with the sunny but hazy sky. And temperatures quickly rise during the afternoon, but there will be highs in the 80s and a slight chance of maybe a few isolated thunderstorms across north central and northeastern North Dakota. Not expect anything severe, but we will have that potential for a couple of storms for some and our moisture just depending on where you're at at the airport. Uh, we've only picked up 26 hundredths of an inch at uh, Minot International. Uh, where should we be? Well, well above that. We're about an inch and a quarter short of our June moisture, but we've got a lot more to come. Chance of showers and storms on Thursday scattered in nature with the cold front coming through. Afterwards, that cools us down at least for Friday, but the weekend, the 80s and 90s will be returning again. All right, thank you so much for that, Henry.